What is going on? Charles Botenston here from BPI. We're going to be talking about today uh, refinancing. So I have my little handy dandy notes right here and we're going to be talking about the basics of actually refining. Obviously a lot of people, interest rates have gone up, they're kind of going down, blah blah blah. You know, this is kind of just going to be a universal video. It depends on what you actually want to refi, but just keep in mind is that you're actually applying for a new loan, okay? And again, talk with your banker. Don't just take everything as is. The laws are changing a lot. The, the banking rules and regulations uh, certainly have changed over the last 10 years from obviously not only the before 2009 and the economic collapse and, and going forward was the Dodd-Frank and just a lot of different closing costs were pushed onto the buyers and it got very expensive, honestly. I think they said that closing costs in some states have risen 50%, which is a ridiculous amount of money. So first of all, you're applying for a new loan. You have to provide the exact same documentation that you did when you first applied for the loan. So including your income, your asset, debt to income ratio, which is a totally separate video, debt to income ratio, and obviously your credit report. So you have to get that in line first. All right, it's, it's not like you just apply for it and the bank is saying, okay, perfect, yeah, this is great. And the reason being is that not only do you have to be better, but your property has to appraise for the exact value and or more than what you're actually applying for. So in other words, if your property is 50% what it used to be, you can't actually, and your loan is gonna be right around there, the bank is says, well, we're gonna loan you more money than what your home is worth. Listen, maybe 2009, 2000, or I'm sorry, 2008, 2007, maybe before then, 2006, but not anymore. The costs, this is actually what stopped one of my clients from actually refining was the actual cost of refining the mortgage. Because listen to this, so you obviously have closing costs because you're getting a new loan. And the closing cost can be anywhere from two to 4%. So I did some math right here. So two to 4% on a $300,000 loan is six to $12,000. On $500,000 loan, that's 10 to $20,000. So really what this comes down to, and here's the math. So in other words, if your refi costs are $5,000, and we'll, we'll say $10,000. Say your, your refi costs are, closing costs are $10,000. Your monthly mortgage bill, on your monthly mortgage bill, it would take you 20 months paying $500 more because of your closing costs. So you have to weigh that. I know you're actually, hopefully, <laughs> lowering your interest rate. That's essentially why a lot of people do it. Obviously, people also want to condense loans if they have multiple loans. And then obviously, um, on top of that, if they had a home equity line of credit, a HELOC. When you're looking at a $10,000 worth of closing costs on, say, $500,000 loan, you're looking at $500 over 20 months just to recoup the closing costs. Okay, so you have to take that into consideration is, is the, the closing cost. And of course, the no financing, which a lot of lenders are actually saying, is that uh, you actually end up paying a higher interest rate. Obviously, that's pretty straightforward, which is just compare you know, Wells Fargo with Chase, with HSBC, with Bank of America. Honestly, for me, is that I have a, a lender at Wells Fargo. Actually, I, I get a lot of emails from Wells Fargo, and I, I don't know what the statistics now, but Wells Fargo actually originated two thirds of all new loans two years ago. I don't know what it is recently, but they were the ones that were really in the business of originating loans. They were the ones that were really pushing that. Obviously, if you're looking at retail and everything else, you look at Bank of America, and they're kind of going chase maybe high net worth investors. Um, and then you obviously just trickle down from there. So co-ops and condos, what's the difference? when you're actually refined. So number one is with a co-op, obviously when you went through the approval, you know, if it was a sponsor unit and you didn't go through the approval, then the board approval, obviously it's a little bit different now because you have to go back through the board approval. In other words, and I wrote this down, is that you have to be approved and obviously this is where hopefully your debt load, your monthly debt load is going down, okay? Because if it's staying the same, it's probably, fine, but they're also going to want to see that you still make the same amount of money, that you still have money left over because the co-op actually has to say yes. When it comes down to owing money to the co-op, uh, I doubt that the co-op is going to approve that because the co-op is saying, great, your interest rate is going down or your monthly debt load is going down. However, if you actually owe money to the co-op, the co-op is going to want that, that money first. So in other words, if you're behind on your maintenance bill, you have to pay that first before they actually approve it. That's kind of a big deal because I have a lot of people that not only 
th there's a whole series of you know taxes that you owe, maintenance that you owe, banking fees that you owe. You know, there's a whole hierarchy of of just you know obviously the government comes first IRS and, and back taxes condos that's another beast so when you're actually going through the condo process um, obviously the condo can't well they can well they don't really say no but they would have to buy the actual condo at the terms that you're buying it's no, known as the first right of refusal so the condo can't say no but they would still have to buy it but with a condo not only does the do you have to be approved but the condo has to be approved so obviously the condo there there's multiple things. Does the sponsor have own too many properties? Are there too many investor properties? Is the insurance up to date? Is do they have enough in reserve? You know, so not are they in litigation? You know, all these things have, the, the condo has to get approved, you have to get approved, and obviously the, the loan has to get approved. I would really consider this. A lot of people say, oh, it's just gonna be an easy process. We had a, a client recently that was actually we had to take the home off the market because that was against the, the banking rules is that your home couldn't be up for sale. And I said, well, actually, that's kind of good, right? And they said, no. So we took it off the market and they actually started going over the, the closing costs and actually re recouping the closing costs. And they said, listen, I know that our, the interest rate is significantly lower, but by the time that we actually pay that off, which was right around 20 months, they would have already sold. So in other words, their closing costs would have superseded the amount of money that they would have reduced in their monthly payments, if that makes any sense, all right? So this is probably one of the, the, the biggest things that maybe a lot of people don't talk about, which is no cost, but you have a higher interest rate. Or monthly, if you're talking about a lower interest rate, you also have pretty significant two to 4% in closing costs. Obviously it, it varies and obviously talk to your lender. You can talk to, take this as, you know, the Bible, but the added bonus, this is something that I wrote down, is the Department of Financial Services announced that they actually slashed title insurance rates for consumers who re refinance their mortgages. Uh, the amount that your title insurance drops varies. Obviously, it depends on how long you've had your loan and who you're actually refining, if it's the original lender. A mortgage that's 10 years old, listen to this, a mortgage that's 10 years old or older and is refinanced with the original lender could lower your insurance by 65%, your title insurance by 65%. That's a significant amount of money. Um, and then on top of that, obviously it goes down 10 years and older, 30% cheaper and 15% if you use a new lender. So these are things that you have to talk about is your closing costs, not only your monthly debt, but also the process, if you're in a condo, the condo has to get approved. The co-op, uh, if you're in a co-op, the co-op has to approve it. So these are things that you have to talk with your lender. Um, so this, this is the basics of Refine. Obviously, if you guys have any professionals that you want me to reach out to for on your behalf that we've been using for a multitude of years, whether it's at Wells Fargo, personally, we don't care. Like there's nothing that we get. You know, we just want to make sure that you're actually with the right lender that's gonna be able to tell you the truth, all the closing costs, and obviously not only what you do on uh, uh, right now, but when are you looking to sell? In other words, yeah, the interest rate could go lower, but when are you looking to sell, does that, make, does that actually make sense? And uh, we actually pushed uh, one of our clients to use a lender at, I think it was HSBC, and that was the one, that I think that, that's who they ended up going with. That was the one that actually said, actually, it doesn't make sense. So in other words, that lender was honest and that's, that's the type of honesty that you need. So if you guys have any questions, leave in the comments below. Our content is gonna be getting a lot better, to say the least. We're gonna be going not only over notes, we're also gonna be bringing in video editor, we have the blog producer, and we're not gonna be going live, we're just gonna be producing better quality videos, uh, better content, our website is just going through the roof, we're adding on some network of areas like you know storage for, for clients, email services for clients, we're bringing on different creators, so we're really blowing up here in the fourth quarter. If you guys have any questions, leave in the comments below. Charles at bpi.live. Have an amazing day.